Hey, it's Emerald Looms here and in this video I'm going to be doing an updated storage tour and I'm also going to be showing you the trade package that I got from Lumilia on Instagram which is so cool so let's just get right into the video. So in the trade with me and Lumilia we basically gave each other a lot of Rainbow Loom stuff and bands and stuff and first of all I just want to show you the bracelets that she gave me. So she gave me this Fugitive Lace bracelet. There's a picture of this posted on her account as well. There's the Twinkle bracelet. This is her original design, posted on her spam. This is a Good Fortune MK1 bracelet. And the Mini Pie bracelet. She also gave me a note which was really sweet. So, yeah. Now I'm going to move on to more of the storage tour and I've actually already sorted all the bands that she gave me. I couldn't resist. It was really fun actually. So I'm just going to like um, tell you which ones she gave me and which ones are already mine. So yeah, this should be fun. So basically this is like the spare bedroom of our house and when you walk in there's just my desk where I usually loom and stuff. And that's just that. It's the same as last time and everything, the lamp and all that and the mini tripod and that. But what's really changed is the way I store my bands. I've got a lot I've got a lot of new storage cases, so I'm excited to show you that and all of that can be found on these shelves. So on this first shelf, I have all my jars and they're the same jars as last time, just that there's different bands and it's way more organized than the last storage video. So I'm going to actually go through each of the colors that I've got here. That I've got here. So at the back there, there's turquoise jelly, red jelly, and Persian peridot. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's there. Here I have some sweets. I have spearmint, baby blue, and deep lilac. I was gonna say purple lily, but then I'm like, no, it's, it's yeah. I got it right in the end. Now I have all these ones along here. So I have the Rainbow Jelly Tie Dye, Metallic Silver, Blue Paradise Mix, Twinkle Dark Mix, and Amelia gave me these as well, which are really nice. Ocean Persian, Red Persian, and Hot Pink and Ocean Pearl. These are one of my most favorite beans. And then moving over here, up the back I have some opaques. I have neon green and purple. And then over there I have some gold jelly. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's chilling in the corner over there. And then coming to the front, I have medieval pink, Persian navy blue, and Caribbean green. And these are the clear bands that come with alpha bands. So they're just there. And then I have this thing here. And, and it's where I keep all my refills, so it can kind of just open like this, which is, which is pretty cool. And it, like I said, it has all refills in there, so like all bands that I'm about to show you or I have already showed you, if I have any like extra or leftover, I'll put them in here in their packs. So now moving on to the next shelf, I'm going to start on the left side, and I have the Satin Collection, and... Amelia gave me these and they're so nice and I sorted them out in their own jars which I think looks really cool. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been wanting to properly organize all my loom stuff and it's finally happening which is great. Now behind that I have some more limited edition bands. They're kind of hard to see. So this is like jet black that I have here. And then I have some opaques behind there as well. So this one here is opaque orange, neon orange, and then I have the champagne colour from the tropical mix. It's just what I have left over of. And then Amelia also gave me these limited edition neon yellow bands. I think they come with the royal purple, it's that particular pack. So she had a she had some of those which she decided to give to me. Then this big jar up the back here is like, has like while in progresses, has whips and it's just full of stuff that I can't really like be bothered pulling apart at the moment but it's also stuff that I need to refer to so like original designs and things like that are in that jar. 
Then off the back I have this pencil case and whenever I'm like going out to take pics, I'll put all the bracelets that I need in here. And then here I have a few more creations. I have the, um, the Lumi Gurumi Kawaii Alpaca by Craft Muse and the, and the Three Peas in a Pod by Phil and Spiffy and the Sushi by Phil and Spiffy. And then in front here I have more little jars. It's more limited edition bands for these two. White, Pearl and Frost. And Amelia gave me these two and they're so nice. And then here I was beading one day and I decided to just keep this as my beading stuff to use later on. Behind here I have this tin and it has all my hooks in it. It's exactly the same as last time when I showed you guys. I'm just going to bring this here. So yeah, just on my hooks. It even has the same Louie things from last time. I cannot be bothered like chucking it out or anything, but that is that. Now coming over to this side of the shelf, I have three brand new storage cases and they're all filled with bands that Amelia gave me, which is so cool. So I'm just going to pull each one out one by one. So I'm going to start off with this top one here. In this case, I have the new Rainbow Loom Silicon Bands that Amelia gave me. And to start on the top left corner, I have the Kunzite Glitter. I hope I've said that right. Then the White Opal Pink Ice Glitter. These are one of my most favourite ones. Then coming over here, I have the Beige Moonstone Glitter. Also one of my favourites. And the Tan Colour. They're very similar, the Beige and the Tan, but they're actually very nice shades. In this case, I have more bands that Amelia gave me. She gave me limited edition marble bands. They're so nice. Then I have the cobalt glitter bands, so more of the new silicon bands. I have blue ice glitter over here. Then I have mystical glitter LE, which is also one of the things, one of the many things that she kindly gave me. I really love these, and I've already made a bracelet with them. I posted it on my spam. And coming over to this sort of central section of the case, I have the Sweets Collection Rainbow. These are Sweets 300 count bands that she gave me. So just to be specific, it's like, I think they all have like the words Fairy Pastel in front of them. I'm not going to um, say the real complicated names. So there's just the pink, the orange, the yellow, the green, turquoise, and then the navy blue. And then coming over here, I have the fireworks bands, and it's so cool to finally have these, like, they're really nice. And then here I have the, I'm sorry, I forgot what these are called, I think they're blue crystal silicon bands. And then here I have the white diamond silicon bands, and then next to, and then next to that I have the limited edition deep sea blue, I think that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, and oh man. That is so nice. It is so pretty. I've been really wanting this colour for a while. So thank you, Amelia, for giving me these. They're so nice. Now moving on to this case, I have more bands that Amelia gave me. So on the top right, I have all Persian bands. Persian 300 count bands. So there's black. Hot pink, pink, ocean, lime, and teal. It's called teal on the website, but that, seriously, look at that. That is not teal. So now onto the next row, I have some galaxy bands here. I have the yellow and pink, pink and green, and green and pink. And then they continue down here with more galaxy bands. So there's the green and blue, blue and pink, and pink and blue. Now moving back up to here, I have Egyptian Baby Pink. These are just my bands that I've had for a while. Same goes for the Silk Pop Pink. I've had that for a while too. And then coming over here, she gave me the Pearl Turquoise and Hot Pink. I believe that's what it is. And they're so nice. I've been wanting these for a while. And then here I have everyone's favourite glitter white. Um, like the legit glitter white. Yeah. Um, I'm really happy to have been able to get these. 
from the Australian web store while they were still in stock. So yeah. And then over here on the side I have alpha bands that I ordered a while ago. So yeah. On the next shelf over here I have these two um, containers and in the orange one I have beads in it and some C clips and then in this pink one I have C clips for the top compartment, coloured C clips for the middle one and at the bottom I believe I have more beading stuff. So yeah and usually when I'm going away I will grab this top part because they are detachable, they come apart in their own little containers. I'll bring the top one with me in my special case which I haven't shown you yet so I'll get to that in a bit but before I do I'll just show you the rest of this so I have my two mini limbs here I thought they looked cute like that I don't even know and then this bucket kind of just has all of my orders that I've ever made and then just a few like finger looms things like that and then this box is for when I don't know what to make so I just uh, grab it give it a bit of a shake open the thing up and then randomly pick the bracelet let's see what bracelet gets featured in this video Enchantia effect I believe that's designed by Solumtastic101 Tutorial on Expert Williams' channel. So there's that. And then, if you have seen my other storage video, you will remember this giant jar. It has all cherry blossoms in it of bands that I am kind of like running low of. They don't really like fit in any particular spot, so they just go in there. And now in this cupboard, and I have my... Lumidus certificate there. It's so cool. Like, so I'm just gonna open this up so you can see. Now, these little drawers here used to have like all watercolors, but I don't actually need it anymore. So currently, that is empty. And above it, I have a spare hook that hasn't been used. Now here is the special storage case that I was talking about and I'm gonna just take you through that. So this is like my main case. I bring this with me everywhere and it has all my necessities and bands that I use all the time. So it just opens up nicely like this and I got this for Christmas from my auntie. I was so happy when I got it. So this is what it looks like and it's a three tier case it kind of opens up into three I'll show you that in a second but first I'll show you this top row this top layer I have mother of pearl Caribbean green hot pink and ocean pearl gold jelly zebra stripe metallic silver medieval tin man and rainbow tie-dye jelly bands and then all along this bottom section I have sorted the assorted pastel mix so it's got all of the shades in here. I use them a lot. So this is what I mean by the three tier thing. It kind of has like three layers of bands and I just absolutely love it. It fits everything in there. So now onto the second row. I have all my Persians here. I have the Lava Red, Sun Kiss, Green Apple, Peridot, Ocean Blue, Navy Blue, purple and Amelia gave me purple so I could have the entire Persian rainbow which I'm really happy about and then I have Persian caramel chocolate which is also very nice and then all along this section I have sorted the glow in the dark pastel jelly bands and I once again I use these a lot so I'm really happy to have them sorted it's very easy to pick out the colors especially between the yellow and the green and they're really hard sometimes if you don't have good lighting and then on the end here I have my leftover of pearl pink. Now onto the bottom layer. I have some of my mixed packs. I have Blue Paradise Sweets and Tutti Fruity Sweets. Then next to here I have Twinkle Bright Mix and Twinkle Dark Mix and Amelia gave me both of these. And I love these bands. They're like my most favourite. Then I have some medieval bands. I have medieval fuchsia and medieval pink. 
Then some Persian bands. I have Persian black and Persian white, 600 count, of course. And then on this section here, I kind of just have it a little bit randomised. I have Medieval Turquoise, Clear Jelly, Solar Moon. And then for these five, I have the Mixed Metallic Theme Bands. All the colours sorted, so the black, the silver slash grey, the white, the light gold, and the dark gold. What's good about this case is that you can fit stuff underneath all that. So underneath I keep two looms. I keep my mini loom hook. And Amelia gave me this mini loom hook and I love it so much. I wish it would focus. That's okay, you know what it is. And I also have my metal tipped hook for loom designs. And then over here I have a full pack of white which Amelia gave me and she also gave me another pack of white which was in my refill case slash container thingy. And so I was so happy when I got white. I haven't had it in such a long time and every time when I go to like Spotlight which is like um, Michael's in America but the craft store in Australia, um, they never have just plain opaque white. They've always got like something else which is really annoying. But I am very happy to have these again. I'll be, I'll, it'll definitely be a lot easier to loom and come up with the colour combos. And then beneath that I have a um, glad bag or a ziplock bag is what you guys call it. What most of you call it. I have a little bag of opaque black bands. So there's that case. Just below the cases shelf I have another box and it just has all my looms in there and spare plastic bags just if I need, um, need them for something, for bands, sorting and yeah. Now down here on the floor I kind of have all my camera equipment and just things like that and then I have another case it doesn't really fit anywhere in any of the shelves or cupboard so it just chills here on the floor and I'm just going to show you that now. So here is this case. I've had this case for a while now and last time when I showed you guys it was really unorganized and weird. So now um, I think it's better. It has sort of like my spare colors that I don't really have a place for or if I have extra of colors that I need to keep going back to to put in my main case. Kind of just works like that. So here I have Spiral Galaxy Bands, they're really cool. I never get to use them much but I think I should try to make more of an effort to use them. Then I have Penguin Black, Zebra Stripe and Black Opaque. Coming over to the next row I have Metallic White and Metallic Gold. And now these four are all Michael's exclusive bands and yes Amelia gave me those obviously because she's um, because I'm in Australia and we don't have Michael stores, so there would have been no way I would have been able to get these if it wasn't for Amelia. So thank you, Amelia. There's the neon pink, neon orange, neon yellow, and neon blue. The neon blue has like a really weird, like, it's a good weird, like a really nice consistency. Like it feels so smooth. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. And then Amelia also gave me some... Sweets Fairy Pastel Orange 600 count bands just because um, I have all the other sweet 600 colours except for this one so she was willing to give me some which was really nice and they're really bright and vibrant. And then I have Yellow Jelly. On the next row I have some leftover mixed metallic themed bands. I have the black, silver and dark gold. And then I have some limited edition bands. I have Gold Mint, Gemstones, and Enchanted Glitter. I have Sweets Black and Silicon Glitter Gold. Now the next row, on the next row I have some opaques. I have Opaque Fuchsia, Opaque Yellow, and Opaque Dark Green. So I have Opaque Turquoise. And then for some more um, glitter bands, I have Glitter Blue, Glitter Pink, and Glitter Red. Then I have dual layered purple lily bands. Next I have the purple and blue pearl bands. 
and the electric glow blue bands. Finally, I have leftover Persian black and Persian sunkiss. In this box here I have a lot of stuff that I needed to sort out, just stuff from a really long time ago when I never really made neat and pretty bracelets. Um, it's kind of like, it's scary when you look in there. But yeah. Then I also have this basket beside my desk of all the bracelets I've made. I'll probably do a bracelets collection video in the future, but yeah. I really don't know what to aim my camera at for the outro, but anyways, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video, it was really fun to make, and I just want to say a huge thanks to Amelia for doing this trade with me, and it's just really cool, I'm so thankful for all the stuff that you gave me, I just, yeah, thanks, so cool. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial, bye!